When I came into the district, I realized that only 16% of the students who went on to college graduated from college. So I knew that uh, there was something going on where we weren't preparing our students to be successful after high school. So we wanted to transform our system from an industrial model of education to a 21st century model. Well, in the beginning, there was, there was no roadmap. So it wasn't like you could call someone and say, hey, how do you do this? So we really worked strategically with some of our partners, and we really wanted to know how do we protect the devices? How do we charge the devices? How do we get them to sites? How do we get them in the hands of kids? Lock and Charge demoed the cart for us, and what was most important to us was ease of use in the classroom um, and keeping them secure and charged at the same time. So when we found out about Lock and Charge and what they offered, we knew it was the ultimate solution to ensure that devices were taken care of and protected and devices would be charged and ready to go every day the student came to school. Teachers were complaining about how fast they could get the devices out and in every day. And the baskets, they just absolutely loved the baskets. And instead of 30 kids going to a cart, they only needed four or even two. So it helped get to instruction quicker. As teachers, we received our iPads first. And once we started to realize what we could do with them, it became exciting to start thinking about what we could do in the classroom with the students. We have had one break-in. They did try to get into the cart, but they did not succeed. So I oh no, iPads have been stolen since they've been in those carts. We looked at a lot of different carts, and the Lock and Charge cart was by far the most secure. One of the biggest obstacles we thought we were going to face was how were we going to charge 25 to 30 iPads in a classroom? So the idea that they're all in one container, they're all charged at one time, they're completely safe, it lifted the, the weight off of our shoulders. Yeah, you know, when President Obama brought uh, the top 100 uh, innovative superintendents to D.C., uh, it was a great pride, I felt, in representing this community. So the president recognized that the innovative approach that we have, and for the community, it really validated what we were doing. And for our partners who have helped us get here, like Lark in Charge, it really validates for all of us that we're on the right path and doing the right thing to educate our students.